I'm doing a video on um, my empties products that I've finished and just like mini reviews on them and if I would repurchase them or recommend them to y'all. But a lot of it is skincare and mascaras, I'm pretty sure. But let's get into it. So first I have two bottles of the Garnier Micellar Water. Yep, Micellar Cleansing Water, which removes makeup. I always buy the big bottles when they're 40-50% off at Priceline. So I usually get a cotton pad and um, I soak it in the micellar water and then I use it for like all of my makeup. Um, and then I just go in with a normal cleanser, lotion or something. I also want to try out the simple micellar water because I've heard that's good. But yeah, I would highly recommend this. So a while ago I did a haul, I think, and I bought these two products here. Which is the Sukin Cleansing Gel and the Mist Toner. I really like this cleansing gel. It was really gentle on the skin. There's not much to say about it, like it wasn't amazing. I don't think any cleanser has blown me away in any way, but I mean it did a job. It, I, did it. I mean it did its job. Also with the toner, it was pretty good. It left my skin kind of dry. I mean toners usually do that with my skin, or maybe I'm just using the wrong toner. I don't know. but. It was just easy because it was a spray and I didn't have to worry about like cotton pads and stuff, you know, because I'm lazy. I have this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water. Um, I love this stuff. I love it for setting my makeup, for just um, hydrating my skin. I use it for eyeshadows and stuff. I just use it for everything. It's really good. It's quite cheap um, at Mecca or you can buy it on Beauty Bay. I think Beauty Bay is like a dollar cheaper, but um, they also have like the bigger bottle, which is 250 millim milliliters, <laughs> but it's really good, so get yourself a bottle. Now I have a couple of facial oils, or just two really. Um, I have this one here, which is the Body Shop Vitamin E Overnight Serum in Oil. I bought this when my skin was being really dry, I had like dry patches all here and I had it around my nose and I was just looking for something that was just going to help my skin but this didn't do much I felt like it just sat on top of my skin it didn't like do anything for it and it smelled a lot like baby baby oil and I don't know if it's just an ingredient that's similar to baby oil but I just felt weird because it felt like I was putting baby oil on my face I don't feel like this did anything for my skin even though usually my skin benefits from oils and stuff but yeah this did not really work for me this is my favorite oil of all time um, this is the grown alchemist antioxidant facial oil and what well, facial oil rose hip and camellia seed this stuff is so good. I used to just use this before I went to sleep. I would put like a couple of drops in with my moisturizer or I would just do it alone. But then I started. Ew! Oh my god, that's so gross. There was a bug on it and I just touched it. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, I'm back. I started mixing it in with my foundation, um, specifically my NARS She Glow. And it just gave you like the most like glowiest, like fresh. Oh, it was really good. But ever since I've tried it with like other oils, it hasn't really worked the same. This stuff is so good. Um, it just kept my skin really like plump and nice and glowy. You can buy this in sets, I think, at Maya, maybe Maya. And you can also buy it on Beauty Bay. I think there are also some similar oils in the range. Um, I haven't tried any of them. But if you do, try this one. Next up, I've got a ton of mascaras. Um, whoop. 
Okay, we'll start with um, my least favorite one, which was probably this one, the Lash Sensational. I heard so many good things about this, and I was so excited when I bought this, but it didn't, I feel like it didn't do much for my lashes. I felt like the formula was just weird, and it didn't build the way I wanted it to, and I didn't like the wand, which is like this curved thing. I think I just had high expectations, and... Yeah, I just didn't like it, so probably wouldn't get this again. Another one that I wasn't as impressed, this always happens when I see it on YouTube and stuff, and um, you see people like saying, oh my god, it's amazing, and stuff like that, and then I buy it, and it's really not that great. So, another one is the um, L'Oreal Miss Manga, you know the one, this one. One thing I did not like about this is that the wand is bendy, so when you're putting on um, the mascara, it like, it doesn't push against your lashes the way you want it to, it kind of just like, bends. Do you know what I mean? If you like, push against your lashes, it bends here. And I'm sure there's some kind of like, reason to why they made it bendy, but I don't know, it just made it harder for me to like, brush through my lashes and stuff. Um, so yeah, I probably wouldn't try this again. I have another Maybelline mascara here. This is the Falsies Big Eyes. Falsies Big Eyes? And so this is the double-sided one, which it has one for your top lash... Whoop. One, for, one for your top lashes and one for your bottom lashes. Top lashes one was okay. We, I feel like it dried out really quickly. But the bottom lashes one is really good because the wand is so tiny and it just gets right in there for your bottom lashes. L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black. It's got this really weird looking wand. It looks like it's not going to do anything because like, look at it. It's like a really thin kind of like, and it's got like ridges on it. And it's not even like a brush wand. But like the formula was really nice. It, it's kind of too wet, but if you use a light hand um, and can do like maybe two coats of it, it makes your lashes so long and if you build it up the right way, it's really good. So I would repurchase this again and I'm going to as soon as I finish my other, I think I have two more mascaras to get through and then I will get this again. I have this brow gel from L'Oreal which is the Brow Artist Plumper and I have it in clear. I really like the wand because it's quite Thin. It's like the cone, like a cone shape. I don't have much to say about brow gels really. I mean it kept my brows in place. The Maybelline one, I feel like it makes your brows look fuller. Whereas this one just kind of just sets them. Even though this is supposed to be a brow artist plumper. The last products I have are hair products. I've got this dry shampoo from Batiste. I bought a mini just because I wanted to try it out. I don't use dry shampoo very often because I have curly hair and my curly hair doesn't get oily very often. Um, but when I straighten my hair, obviously your hair gets oily quicker. So I use my dry shampoo. And I mean, it's pretty good, I guess. Like it does its job. I feel like it leaves like a weird feeling in my hair. Like it doesn't just disappear into my hair. It just makes my hair feel even dirtier than it is. Like before I put this in, if that makes sense. If you want a like cheap dry shampoo, then you should you can probably use this. My last product is the Keracare Defining Custard. I use this in my hair um, every time I shower to keep it looking kind of defined. It's like a gel, and the way I use it is. Um, I just, as soon as I get out of the shower, while my hair is still like soaking wet, um, I grab like all this product and I just run it all on my hair and then just pray for the best, really. It's really cheap. I get it off from Beauty Bay. Um, they have a lot of other products as well. I use the um, essential oils as well for the hair, which keeps like, because this I feel like this kind of dries out, not dries out, but it leaves like a dry feeling in your hair. And so I use the oil to kind of like balance it out. But yeah, that's all for my empties products. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, 
Also, my lip colour, it's so nice. This is um, point zero from... Focus. It's point zero from um, Colourpop, from the Kathleen Lights collaboration. I really like it. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it's a really nice nude. And because it's grey toned, it makes your teeth look white. Look at it. Alright. Bye!